guys, Camp Russia here. Welcome back to Factions, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much Bend for tuning fire. into this show every single day, making it a part of your <laughs> daily routine. I really do appreciate that. Start off the episode here. We got Ben M. Napkin and Wild. What's up, boys? I'm doing. I'm what? I, I, nothing. Nothing's up. Okay. Ben, go ahead. Ben? Fantastico. No, I said, what's up, boys? Nothing uh, much. That was a <laughs> test, Ben. Ben, do you even listen when I'm talking, man? I'm trying to. <laughs> Okay, oh. I'm just trying to have a civil conversation with my, one of my friends, Ben, and you, you're not seeming like one of my friends right now, I'll man. just go kill myself in Minecraft. Oh my Bye. god, that was kidding. almost really dark, my friend. I'm glad. <laughs> Jeez Louise, man. Um, Alright, so we're getting into today's episode. Starting off here with the Daily Factions call of the day, coming in from x Slot, And uh, it's a little bit of a sad one here, so... I went to a funeral today, and um, while he was there, all of a sudden he, uh, he thought of Ben M. Uh, that's Jeez. half dark. <laughs> oh, it's <Holy>. half dark. <laughs> ben M, do you get it? These are getting darker. Every <laughs> it had over a hundred likes, man. I had to toss it in today's episode. I don't know. I don't think he. Had, well, I mean, maybe he went to a funeral. I mean, if he was actually at a funeral. Yeah. What if he actually was? Then it is bad. dark. That's the debate. Was he actually at one, or did he make the story up? That determines if it was dark or not. Well. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Very dark start to today's episode. I, uh, I, I don't know. That one gave me a couple laughs when I first read it. And, and you know, the Ben M jokes, they never get old. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got a, uh, we have a pretty cool episode planned for you today. Pretty, something pretty unique, pretty different we haven't seen in a while. So, uh, that's really all I've got to tell you at the start of today's episode. If you're excited, touch that like button. Thank you always for the support on this show. If you missed the mid-season finale, it was out Saturday. So, make sure to check that out. And uh, I guess we'll talk to you uh, in a second. We have a story behind what we're about to do, but we cannot tell you I'm that fired, story I'm right fired. now because and the napkin needs to fire this Charlie, cannon let me know if it hits. really fast. Okay, yeah, let us know yeah, if it hits. Yeah, yeah. Should we yeah. head over to where Charlie is? Yeah, yeah, TP to Charlie. He's on one of the boxes because we could pearl from it from our walls. Okay. Oh, there's okay. a guy here. I'm at Charlie now. I'm at Charlie now. Oh, it's a, is it? It's a gone for the win. Okay. So, we got some fights going on. We are right at the world border. Is this the world border right? No, it's not the world border right here. But Look at Adrian and chat. TP Rusher. <laughs> TP Rusher. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, this could turn bad real fast. But basically, as we're going here, what are we standing on right now, Charlie? What is this box? It's a cannon box. Are you, are you inside? Oh, is this the cannon box right here, the one we're inside? Yeah, yeah there's two cannons. There. The one up top. Is the one that stacks the sand outside the world border. The one on the bottom is the one that goes into the base. Okay, so Navki, give a little bit of backstory here because I feel like things are going to get a little bit crazy. Uh, basically, this mm -hmm. cannon, you are shooting into their base. You've broken a big hole in their wall right now, which allowed us to get in. Um, it's already pretty destroyed and damaged in here. Um, okay. It looks like you got... Oh, heads up. Aegon's back, back. right here. Uh, we'll try and get him. He's going to TP some people in, though. It's about to get dicey. But this is his cannon. And this cannon mm -hmm. was uh, an attempt to raid our base, right, Napkin? Yeah, this morning I logged on and MMQ was checking the walls and he said that they built a cannon and then I looked at it and saw it was the same thing we did the 420 a couple seasons ago. Yeah, yeah, so, um, okay, so that if you guys remember that, one of the one of the biggest raids and coolest raids we ever did is we mm -hmm. raided 420, the richest faction at the time, from outside the world border in a legit way. And yeah. it, basically, you you use pistons to push push some of the the barrel outside, right? That's how it works. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Basically. And so they were about to do that, and this was one of the boxes. So it's kind of hard to get a visual right now, especially as we are mid PVP. Um, but basically, what they do, like they've got their cannon here, and let me. I, I mean, I'll jump out of fly if Aegon comes back, but I think Charlie's dealing with them right now. Right here is the world border. This is the world border right at that block. So they used pistons, and you can see there's a bunch of blocks outside the world border that was placed by Aegon's faction. So they have built the barrel outside, and one you have to stack yeah. sand. That's one of the cannons. Wait, you want to? Can we address this right? Look in the chat right now. He said you fix it when we do it to you. Laugh out loud. <laughs> oh. He's talking about I started putting the war zone claims outside the border. Yeah. And quickly, we were supposed to get a plug in to fix that this season. So that's what I've been waiting on. That's why I haven't done the war zone claims. Yeah. But since we haven't got the plug in and people are going to start doing it to other, each other's bases, so I got to go put the Warzone claim on because we don't have the plug in. So that's yeah, because why... since we did the 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 420 or yeah. whatever it was way back when, 
after about a month after that, we declared it illegal because it was too OP and, and everyone kind of agreed. We did give a month or so for everybody to try and have their shot at it. But this yeah. season, like if you guys remember last season, there was war zones all across the world border. That was the reason for it was to prevent these kind of raids. Um, uh, but basically, and then this season I had just found out, I really had no idea. Um, but napkin, I was waiting, but it just, it hasn't happened yet. And I honestly just kind of went out of my mind cause nobody was doing it. Yeah. And then I saw it today and the only way to really stop it is to go actually do the claims like we did last season and not wait for the plugin. So, but back, you did stop it on your own though. Like earlier this yeah, morning, no, 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 up, yeah. up. they, they actually busted one wall. Oh, did and they? Then, yeah. Well, they got the sand stack there, but they never got, um, the actual wall busted. Yeah. So, so they, yeah, we did stop it legit. I yeah. Mean, so not, like, yeah. We, like their first attempt was stop it. So that's what Aegon's complaining about. And, and I mean, uh, whatever the debate is, it is coming in now. Because not only us is going to get targeted, but if this works on us, oh, yeah. it's going to take out to every base. On they'll the server. take out every single base on the server. So it's not it's not just about us. But uh, so that's what's going on here. But they almost pulled it off, and you can see the barrels right there. They pushed those out with redstone. And believe me, if we allowed that to stick around, I'm assuming Napkin could easily go to their base and yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, I could have done it all season, but I just been waiting to. Yeah. I mean exactly you know. so a big debate right now but yeah that this is how it works and and for you guys who weren't around back in the 420 days this was uh this was a huge episode and episodes uh throughout the the finales of, of that season whatever season it was a couple seasons back so this is a pretty big deal Aegon uh Aegon's ticked off but I mean uh, again Napkin did stop it earlier this morning uh on his own by just going in there and blowing up the cannon but uh, but now it, it will be, uh, not, I guess, not really illegal. It'll just be impossible to it'll do. It'll just it. be fixed, yeah. It'll just like it has been the, season, all yeah. these other seasons, yeah. So It's on every other server, too. It's like the claims on every other server. I was just waiting on this server for the plug-in. But... Yeah, exactly. So either way, we can and in here. We stopped it once again. And now after this second stop is when we're going to start deploying the, uh, the war zone, I think. Uh, and again, I, I think if, if, if you understand factions, understand the power of this cannon, you understand this needs to be done. And no one's been doing it, and that's why we haven't addressed it yet. Aegon's on the run. He has always been a very hard man to kill, so I would not be surprised if he escaped. But gentlemen, we can give it our best shot, I'll tell you that. And he's really not TPing anyone in. I, I don't really know why, man. I, I thought he was messaging people and telling them that, uh, that I was here, but I guess... I guess not, dude. I'm in a 1v1 with Aegon right now. Come here, Aegon. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. He's I'm trying to run because he says no no clip for you. <laughs> no <laughs> He's angry at me, so he doesn't want to fight me. Well, I'm not going to let you leave so easily, buddy. I'll do a little 1v1 with you. I don't got my 1.8 on, though. I got that disadvantage. Come on, Guardian. Help me out a little bit. Come here, Aegon. I got the axe. His gear is going down faster than mine is. Oh, heads up. Serrated strikes. Oh, right when he's serrated, I get a big old combo on him. Oh, Ben M showed up. Ben M showed up. He doesn't want a 2v1, though. We'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can handle this, man. He TP'd I and or I and Wild showed up on the team speak. What's up, Wild? We're going to need your help what out up, here, dude? dude. I'm getting on, man. Trying to kill way. Aegon after a big raid attempt with the old world border cannon. we got some pretty crazy things happening so far this episode. Oh. Come here. Come here, I and or I. I think I want to mess you up, I and or I. Come here, man. Actually, this guy's getting pretty weak. Are, are you still hitting Aegon? Whoever's hitting Aegon? I think Ben M is. Oh, I'm wrecking him right now. He can't touch me. Yeah, dude, we put in so many shots on <laughs> Iander. I think he's going to be in some trouble here. Oh, is he TPing more people in? What's he doing? Oh, he's eating golden apples, too. <laughs> I don't know if he... Did he use a fix-all or something? Dude, his I think he's. I think he's frozen. I have frozen him max. Oh, that's what it is. You're freezing him. Yeah, I've frozen as well. Oh, he's about to die. His gear's about to break, man, at this rate. George and all these guys are showing up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I missed that. I got a gap up. I used my first gap today. And I gotta fix all. Alright, we almost killed that Ender guy, but it looks like they're TPing Jords and, and these guys in Hairless KFC. Oh, this is temper then, boys. This We're getting a little overwhelmed now, gentlemen. I'll tell you that. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. They don't know how to fight, so they gotta TP 40,000 people. Yeah, no, this is bad news. Guys. This just turned into bad news. That I Ender guy, I can't believe he lived. He pulled off a clutch fix hand while we were fighting him. Um, we just couldn't get the damage we wanted on him, so... Um, yeah, time oh, to run. Rusty, Aegon dude, says run. In, man. Aegon says run now as if he's got the power here. I mean, he brought in every other faction. That, I, I, is he, who's Anonymous team with? It must have been Temper then, right? Um, oh, 
I don't think they were F show. Well, Hairless is here and there, and Ethan plays. I might or they're Abiza, Abiza. Abzia, okay, all right, all right. I am on the run though. I am going to run now. I am not down for a big outnumbered fight. Even though I guess yeah, we we were outnumbering Aegon though, but we uh we did pretty well though. Wild, sorry buddy, you did, you missed the fight. You TP in as there's about thirty of them here, my man. I don't know how did. Oh my god, the odds that I get frozen by the first axe hit that guy puts on me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Charlie, are you dead? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> he sounds so sad, man. What happened? I don't know. He dropped me so fast. He dropped you real fell, man. Well, I'm sorry about that, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right, well, Charlie's down. That's unfortunate. I'm still on the run. Napkin, as the PvP wraps up here, I just wanted to quickly take a peek at what they actually did, just for the people that didn't know. So these are the barrels right here, or the, the remains of the barrels. I honestly don't really know how these things... This is what they... Were they shooting from the upper box or the lower box, Napkin? Yeah, his is... So ours actually looked like a barrel that, that we had built. But this one is simpler, and it seems to work as like a, a bounce shot almost. But we'll go show you the proof again. The sand we stack sort of is... stopped it here. Where did you stop it? If you TP. So yeah, basically, yeah, just to give you an idea, it skips all these walls because right now I'm just flying outside the border to show you guys. Skips the 45, and then as we get closer to the base here, you'll be able to see the sand stack happen right about where are we? Yeah, right at this this level right. right. right right here yeah you can, see, you can see napkin down there so the sand stack happened and it was a big sand stack how many shots do you think it took them to stack the sand probably like two maybe three two or three and then and then well what they didn't even need sand stack for the first one did they or do you have to have it for this type of shot because you need a backboard right you, you need a backboard yeah it stacks sand right here and then i think the part that broke like uh the part that shot the sand down broke a hole on this wall yeah so they so. they breached they breached the wall now the thing yeah. is napkin was saying we're not too sure how they plan to actually raid us because doing this you can see looking at the coordinates here we you would not be able to flow in this water this is the world border right here this block so if i wasn't in bypass right now it would kick me back into the the border so even if they broke and breached into our base there's no way of entering into our base. So we're trying to find out what their actual goal was. Maybe it was just the bragging rights. Because does it actually count as a raid if they breach our main wall? <laughs> I don't know. Because how... if you go down here, look look at here. All right. Because if you go down here, you could stand like right here. But you can't get like to the base. Like you, you can't get in the water part. The water part's behind this cobble. Exactly. And there's nothing. Can't you it. can't do anything. You can't creep rag in there because there's obby like there's nothing you could do so we're trying to figure out what their actual plan was if they even plan to get into the base but that's kind of the that's what went down that's the process that, that happened here at our base and that's why this big debate but just saying now if we go f map the war zone is there the war zone is everywhere now um so this 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 will not happen anymore so um for you people nervous who've spent you know 20 24 hours 30 hours 40 hours building your base and you're worried about getting cheap shotted from the world border it's not possible it was never supposed to be possible we were just waiting on a plug-in that, that hasn't happened yet so uh we're, we've just done it manually um all right good i just wanted to explain that just to, to kind of show you guys that it was pretty deadly they were close but close to doing what we're not too sure we, we don't know what their end goal actually was so we have a couple things left to tackle this episode one other thing i should say next episode is going to be very different than most uh so make sure you tune in it's uh i've got something pretty cool to show you so uh hopefully you'll be there but with that being said i am we got a couple things to do and the first thing is pretty quick pretty easy and that is you guys know last episode or in the mid-season finale I used probably around 30 to 40 gaps. I didn't end up dying though, so I got to keep, uh, I think around 20 to 30 of them. But I'm short on gaps right now. They're still on the alt account. So looking at my e chest, we still have 20 or 30, whatever is over there, but I've got nothing left. I literally have eight gapples plus those 20 or 30. So I'm, I'm running pretty short on god apples. Coming to our bedrock vault, you guys may have forgotten about this thing. It's still Wait, not rated. Vault? Yeah, we yeah, Napkin doesn't even know. We have a bedrock vault, and we've had it for at least two weeks now. It's not claimed. It's not rated. No one's found it yet. People are close. I'm not going to F-map because then I can show you the cords. But there's claims like near this thing. like You can see them on the F-map. So I'm a little bit scared. But oh, at this point, 
we are still on Raiden in the Bedrock Vault. So I came back here to check kind of what we what we even have going on in here, and you, know, you can see a lot of it's empty. I moved most, of the, I moved all the blaze spawners into our main base, um, but what we do have is TNT books stuff like that actually we have some sea eggs I'll t I'll take those real quick that that is yeah, you got uh, a lot of god sets in here and yeah yeah oh yeah and we got a bunch of super good armor in here so free money I just always forget we have this like rich bank in uh, you know which is our bedrock vault but here's what we got we have stacks of blocks of gold so I'm going to take all these ladies and gentlemen and I am going to go to um warp shop I gotta pick up a couple apples right over here. I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming a stack should be enough slash craft, and let's see what we can make. I don't think we're going to be able to make a stack, but I'm gonna guess we're gonna be able to make around 40 of these things, approximately. So it's going to be real nice. What, okay, it's gonna be about 44, it looks like, eh? Um, yeah, 44 of these. So 44 god apples, just like that where I didn't even think we had this much gold available. I, sometimes, like, Wild had brought it up a couple days ago, like, hey, dude, our bedrock vault's still here. I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot about that thing. So I thought we would cash those in and make up for losing some gapples uh, last episode. But also before last episode, we were we were short on God Apples anyways. So this is a, a pretty big play here. Now, last thing we are going to do, gentlemen, is we're going to spin a crate key. But we're going to put something on this crate key. Next episode, along with the really cool thing that's going down, I'm going to be... I, next episode or the episode after, I'm not too sure if we'll have time for it tomorrow. We're going to be working on a new MCMO skill um, because it's very advantageous in PvP. And a little hint about it is we use uh, something like it in the mid-season finale. And I didn't know it had to do with MCMO, but it does. So, we're going to go to slash spawn. Ben... I know you are the uh, MCMMO pro. How many extra credits do you have on you right now? Currently 300. 300 credits. Okay. So what I want to do, I mean, Napkin and Wild will spin their crate keys as per usual. But Ben, you and I, if I get a better crate key win than you, I get your credits. If you get a better one than me, I'll give you 500k. How's that sound? Sounds fantastic. You down for a little wager, a little gamble, my friend? Sure. Game time then, buddy. Ultimate Crate Key Edition 6. It's not Edition 6, it's Edition 5. Um, but it's coming in hot, dude. Give us something nice. Come on, come on. Five God Apples. What'd you get? Come on, baby. 150 MCMO credits. I don't know. Okay, all right. Let's... I got 152. You, you want to do get... a retry? You guys, no, we're not doing a retry. Because I don't need credits. Let me, let, me let me check almost. this out. Let me check this out quickly, dude. Because I actually don't, we always say the credits are better. I actually don't know the, because uh, it's all based on the uh, the rarity. Because it's all uh, all rare. It's all in order. Ask Chet. Ask him how much uh, five God no, Apples No, five God Apples wins. Credit. I just checked. God dang it, man. God dang it, Ben. Okay, double or nothing, Ben. Double or nothing. Million right, dollars. You, you ready? Yep, let's do All this. Alright, please beat him. Please beat him. There's nothing. Come on, Braden. Come on. You need to get something good here, Rush. You need to get something good. Eight creep rigs. You can't beat that. Come on. Come on. I won the medium spawner kit. Yes, according to my or whatever I don't know what to call it. My legend, my key, let's say. I'm looking, by the way, just on shop.thearchon.net at the the page, because it orders in rarity. And it goes, would you get the medium spawner kit? Yeah. It goes that, then the MCMO, then Sea Eggs. What? So Sea Eggs is the winner, Ben Yeah, but I get blaze spawners from that. How is that? <laughs> I have no idea, man. I have no idea. Uh, hey, dude, I whatever. don't make... Okay, I do make the key. So you literally, I I am the guy that did that. But still, that is just what it says, uh, Ben M. I don't know you in Wildwind wow. slash oh. Pot, dude. We get it, man. You, you. I think you're the crazy key master. Yeah, you well. beat all of us, man. Wild gets a Correct, big, boys. big rare win in chat right there. <laughs> God dang it. So, Ben, it's not. I, I, I'd, I said double or nothing just for me. I was gonna give you a million dollars if I lost that. But for you, you don't have. You should have 450, right? Because you won the 150 MCMO first one. Yep. Okay, so. What do you think? 300 then? Because you were... Oh, wait. You're going to give me... I mean, dude, we went double or nothing, but I kind of just forced on you. So if you want to just do 300, I'll just take the 300 if you need the extra 150, eh? I mean, it's fine. You can have the 450. I'm maxed on everything. Oh, uh, yeah. Then <laughs> I'll take it then, man. I will take that right here, right now. And I am going to put it on a specific, um, uh, I guess, MCMO skill. One that you wouldn't think I would be doing, but uh, I need to get up there. Guys, do you know which level I need for uh, for it to be useful? 
I think uh, the higher, the better, 500, man. 500, uh, I think it is. Okay, so I'll put all 450 into this. YOLO, yeah. man. Do it. <laughs> YOLO. Okay. So, we are putting it into... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you do it yet? No, I didn't do it yet. You know what you should do? You should brew a couple pots first, because the first 50 levels are really easy to get. And then put the 450 into it, and it'll get you 500 easier. That might be a good call. Ladies and gentlemen, I am putting it into the alchemy uh, skill. But Napkin has a good point. Those first 50 are so easy, we should get those manually rather than grinding after we put in the 450. So we'll keep the 450 for now. I was just going to put it on alchemy, but we will do it in the episode where we tackle this skill. And uh, it, it does have some, some very good use in PvP, so that's why it, it's worth it to do it. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we got recent five donors, the Archon, Braystone, Bella Lay, Aaron Granger, Kingsling, and Mr. Split Your Base EZ. Thank you for your purchases, the Archon. Really appreciate your financial support. Good luck on your crate keys. Enjoy your ranks, and thank you so much for watching this show. Make sure to join the rush by subscribing. Touch that like button if you enjoyed, and subscribe to everyone down below. Have a good day. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.